Hi everybody and welcome to Knife Rev. Today we're going to talk about the LT Ride Great Plainsman. Alright, to give you some specs of this knife, uh, the overall length of the knife is 6.5 inches. The cutting edge is 2.75 inches. The steel is made out of D2 and it is 1.8 inch thick and the handle material is micarta. It does come with a sheath and it's made out of leather. All right, let's take a closer look at the build quality. The blade is done, is finished uh, very well. No scratches or odd tool marks on there. The plunge grind, see if we can get this a little closer. And the plunge grind is done very well. Uh, it's symmetrical. And looking at the tip, it's also finished symmetrically. So the grind throughout the length of the blade is done very nicely. The transitions between the micarta handles and the metal is very smooth. You can't feel anything. Also, the handle itself is very smooth and the, the uh, brass pins you can't feel anything. So that's finished off very well. The spine over here along the back is polished and then when you get to the, uh, oh, I guess the, the latter two thirds, it's ground at a 90 degree angle but the, the spine itself over here is actually rounded. So it makes it for comfortable smooth handling and uh, at the 90 degrees it's very sharp. So the overall finish of the knife is very good. All right, taking a quick look at the ergonomics of the knife. This is a small knife, but the handle you can span all four fingers around it without any problems, so that's nice. The uh, finger guard over here is finished very nicely, so when you butt up against it, you're not going to have any discomfort and it's not sharp, or you're not going to hit any sharp points where it might be uncomfortable. So, getting a full purchase on the knife is uh, easily easy to do. Now looking at the spine back here, as I said before, it's, it's polished, but when you get to this part over here, it is cut at a uh, 90 degree and uh, it is pretty sharp at both edges. And this is a pretty light knife. Uh, if we can get the scale over here, turn this on real quick. So throwing the knife under, we can see that the knife weighs about 2.85 ounces. So an uh, easy to carry knife, it's a lightweight knife and even though it is small, you can definitely get a nice grip on it. Alright, so I've used this knife sporadically and I haven't had to uh, touch the edge yet to resharpen it. It's still pretty sharp and it is saber grind, so let's see how it cuts some paper just to see uh, how the edge feels. It, it's uh, very sharp. Let's try some paracord. See how it does with that. Oh, it cuts it like like butter. It's so easy. Just using the tip. I don't even have to run the whole edge. So very sharp, easy to cut uh, paracord. And this thing has a 90 degree spine on the tip. And let's give that a try. See how it, uh, if it throws out some sparks. Oh yeah, really. Throws out quite a bit of sparks. I hope you can see it on the camera. But it's it, it's smoking up the place over here. So very well done. Now the knife comes with a leather sheath and I think they also have an option for kydex if that's what you want. I opted out to, um, to get just a leather sheath and uh, there's no extra charge just to get this. So the leather sheath, let's put this away for a second, the leather sheath is actually very nice. It uh, seems like it's quality leather, it's stiff. You know, it, uh, it is thick enough, definitely, 
and it and it's uh, built with a uh, belt loop, you know, generous belt loop too. You should be able to fit just about any size belt you want uh, over there, and uh, it's finished very well. And definitely, definitely quality leather. So the fit. I'm put the knife in here. The fit is very deep, so it's you know unless you're you're falling off and doing a cartwheel, it's probably not going to fall off. The retention is very well done, so which is kind of nice. A lot of the uh, sheets that you get from other manufacturers that are almost seems like a one size fits all, and you you know they will hold it there, but as soon as you turn them over. They'll, they'll slip and fall out. Not this one. This one has, even though it's not wet form to the knife, uh, the, sheets, the sheath still fits very well and you're not going to have a problem of uh, losing the knife if it tips over. And it's easy to pull out. It's not, you know, you don't have to put a lot of pressure to get it out of there. The only thing that is right so deep that maybe a little bit of a paracord lanyard or something to help you pull it out might be a good idea. But definitely a quality sheath and uh, worth, uh, worth the purchase. It's a, a good combination for this knife. So looking at the pros and cons of this knife, um, there's a lot of pros. It's, it's well made, it's compact, it's lightweight, only 2.85 ounces, so it's easy to carry on your side. Or I've seen people actually carry this as a neck knife and that should be easy too because it is fairly light. I think adding the uh, sheath and the knife together is like four and a half ounces or something like that. So, so definitely not not heavy and should be easy to carry, and uh, definitely a quality knife. Uh, the only cons that I think, if anything, and, and this is nitpicking, it's really, it's really not not terrible at all. When you put your finger here between the transition between the uh, the regular the spine you know where you actually put your hand and then with a 90 degree starts you could feel a little ridge over there a little bit of sharpness there but not a whole lot and if that ever became a problem you can just take a little file and just you know pass it a couple of times and, and that would probably go away but uh, other than that uh, this is a great little knife it uh, it does a lot of stuff and uh, no complaints for the money uh, to get a, a quality knife like this with D2 steel and uh, micarta handles that are finished very well and on top of that throwing in a, a sheath that actually holds the knife and it's made out of pretty good uh, leather uh, this is pretty I think this is a, a very good buy if you're into a uh, you know small type knife of this uh, this size and uh, don't mind actually, you know, carrying something uh, like a neck knife or even on your side. This uh, this will ride very easily. So again, this is the LT Ride Great Plainsman, a quality knife that is definitely worth checking out. I think it's worth its price, and uh, if you're looking for a short knife that. Uh, can be carried either a neck knife or on the belt. This uh, this will probably uh, be uh, one that you want to check out. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.